It's easy to take electricity and the benefits of reliable power for granted. And while there's increasing attention to the source of our energy, from fossil fuels and nuclear to renewable technologies like wind and solar, we don't often think about what goes into making sure that the energy we need is always available when we need it. For those responsible for running the grid, however, keeping electricity flowing is a careful balance of load and supply and working with state, regional, and federal entities to make sure proper rules are in place to maintain reliability when consumer demand is at its highest. This is episode two of The Grid of the Future, How Reliability Happens. In this segment, we'll look at the important role of regulators and reliability organizations in maintaining reliable electric service. We'll also discuss the steps those of us at the New York Independent System Operator are taking to prepare for greater amounts of intermittent renewable resources as they come onto the system. Finally, we'll talk about how we forecast for the changing needs of the grid and how we make sure New York has enough energy to serve consumers, even on the hottest, most stressful days for the electric system. To understand how the grid stays reliable, it's important to understand job one at the New York ISO, operating the electric system to the strictest reliability standards in the country. A highly trained grid operations team works in our control room 24 hours a day, every day, dispatching power from hundreds of generating resources around the state, managing the flow of electricity and keeping the system in balance. I often think about the New York ISO as the air traffic controller for reliability for your region, which in this case is the state of New York. And bravo to New York for really coming together on what you want the future for your state to be in terms of energy. As we move to an emissions-free grid by 2040, the intermittent nature of solar and wind energy resources relied upon to supply the grid of the future presents new reliability challenges that must be accounted for by grid operators, system planners, and policymakers alike. We are seeing uh, numerous wind, solar, batteries all across New York. There's not even one specific geographic location. We're talking all the way from Buffalo, all the way down to Long Island, all the way up to Canada. Uh, there are new resources everywhere in huge volumes. And it's just a fact the electric grid in New York State was not built to handle all of these new resources. So this is the major challenge we have in front of us. You have these new resources coming on. What do we need to do to change the grid? To to have more wire, more transmission that's available to move that power and still keep the system reliable, keep the lights on. New York's electric system is subject to the strictest reliability rules in the country, and for good reason. Meeting New York City's energy needs alone is a major responsibility. Being prepared for changes in the grid long before they're necessary is vital. New York is unique in that um, most of the demand is in the uh, is in the New York City and Long Island areas. I think over 60% of the, the entire demand in New York is concentrated in in those two areas, and uh, we really have limited um, you know limited transmission capability to get to those areas just because of the geography of New York State. The unique geographical challenges of supplying electricity to New York City, combined with the grid's critical importance to public health and safety has led to state-specific reliability rules that go beyond national requirements. In addition to the New York State Reliability Council, the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, or NERC, creates rules that govern grid operations from a national perspective. The New York ISO also follows regional rules created by the Northeast Power Coordinating Council, or NPCC. NPCC. Uh, that is concerned with the Northeast uh, conditions. And uh, there's a hierarchy of, of rules, and um, they become more stringent and more specific. New York State Reliability Council is unique uh, amongst all of the uh, control areas uh, in the United States. The mission is very simple, to promote 
and maintain reliability in New York State. In New York currently, we need about 6,000 megawatts of generation in excess of peak load. Um, that generation currently is made up of rotating metal machines. In the future, it's going to be replaced by clean energy, renewable resources, wind, solar, and battery, and other resources. However, by their nature, they are not as reliable as generators that are fueled by um, uh, gas or oil um, or, or nuclear or hydro. The IRM is a form of resource insurance that makes sure there's enough electricity available to serve consumers on the highest demand days of the year. Right now, those are the days of extreme heat when businesses and homes are running air conditioning on top of the usual electricity needs of lighting, smartphones, and computers. The IRM requires that we maintain enough supply on the system to serve the projected peak demand of a given year. With enough surplus to account for sudden risks like extreme weather, the unanticipated loss of the generator or transmission line, and other variabilities. In fact, there may continue to be gas usage for some time. And it's important that we are honest with the public about that and honest about the role that a resource, even natural gas, can play. I know this from serving as a commissioner at FERC and taking up some really challenging discussions about how to integrate clean energy goals and renewable energy. Finally, the New York ISO is regulated by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC. FERC oversees our wholesale electricity markets as well as our planning activities. And FERC reviews all rules by which we operate the system. Just another way we collaborate with government and regulators to support reliability while minimizing consumer costs. We cannot uh, assume that the system is going to be stable enough for us to react to events that will uh, be able to handle what's coming. The other th item that is occurring is, is climate change. We've had events in the US uh, within the last year or so. California, uh, where um, they're they lost a lot of generation because of excessive heat. In Texas, a, 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 the opposite thing happened where we had a cold snap and uh, fuel supplies froze. And all of these are due to extreme weather events. And, and they are going to increase uh, in, in uh, severity and frequency uh, in combination with an unavailability of wind and solar um, leaves you high and dry unless you've got other resources. We have a revolution uh, in the power system on our hands and we need to be ready for it. The infrastructure is key and we have to make sure that the adequate planning and investment is there to support the growth and the expansion and quite frankly, the transformation of the grid in New York. Maintaining reliability requires expertise, planning, and collaboration. And the work takes place within our walls at the New York ISO, combined with the oversight of entities at the state, regional, and federal levels, helps make sure the lights in New York continue to stay on. <laughs>